Load beams in five degrees. Load beams in five degrees. turn off the uh, Delta BT because it's not really material. And it looks like, as usual, the auto charge didn't find it, so I'll go ahead and set that manually. Just right click and choose it. Clean up the axes to begin with. I don't really care about anything before the roast actually starts. So based on prior roasts of this bean, it takes about five and a half minutes to get up to the end of drying. Which means there's gonna be five minutes of not much exciting happening. So there's my turning point, one minute, which is pretty average. Oh, and I need to bump up the power here on the Variac. I typically keep it around 120. simply to avoid the uh, effects of the air conditioners running here, which in the summertime tends to drop the power quite a bit. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this video. I see that uh, my curves here, they seem to be lagging behind the prior rows, so I'm going to go ahead and fool around with my background, shift it a little, bump it over to the right. You know, eventually it'll catch up, it always does. I just use that because later on I uh, watch the curve much more closely to gauge the progress after the first crack. I just try to have them lined up so I have a visual guide. I get about 10 degrees till I hit drying on this particular roaster due to Check the... Check setting for very at voltage. Check setting for very at voltage. That's my reminder that it's coming up and I also record this. So 540, it's about 20 seconds behind the prior roast I did. And on this roaster, my thermocouples are positioned such that they record about mm, 20 to 25 degrees lower than what most normal people see. I also have this two-step thing here where I bump the fan up to 50 and then down to 25. So that's just because in the past, I've had some weird things where sometimes it didn't work the way I thought it should. That's one of those, you know, historical things where people get used to doing something a particular way. It's almost like a superstitious thing. So what I've done here, I've dropped the power to 90% once I get to the end of drying and then hit the fan at 25 and it'll stay that way until I get to a BT of 330. That's about 40 degrees before first crack. This is a roast of some Ethiopian Harar Malasa that I got through the Green Coffee Buying Club. And historically, it's hit first crack at about 370 on this roaster. So I just 
I'm trying to go for a relatively slow, moderate roast on this coffee because I've heard that gives the best results. So now that my BT has crossed over 300, I'm going to zoom in on uh, what's happening. So I'm going to go to 7 minutes and 300 degrees. And I'm also going to turn on the uh, delta BT curve so I can see that. So once again, this shows the relative lag, so I'm going to shift over my background again because I prefer to have it more or less lined up. So here comes my adjustment in the fan. There you go, 750. So again, based on the prior roast, I have paper documentation that happened. Uh, Check setting for very high voltage. Check setting for very high voltage. That happened about 25 seconds sooner last time I roasted this. So now I am indeed going to look at the Variac, and since I dropped the power to 70%, bumped up the fan to 50, I can. Uh, I was a little over 120 volts on the Variac. So as the hot top sucks more voltage, I have to crank it up a little higher, and then as I reduce the voltage, I will be dropping again to 50% power about a minute after first crack. So now I got about 20 degrees till first crack, so it should start right at about 10 minutes, which is, you know, a good number. Generally try to get my roast to be between 9 and 10 minutes for first crack. First crack in 5 degrees. First okay. crack in 5 degrees. And all of these reminders are just in case I'm sleeping and I'm not really paying attention to what's happening. But uh, it doesn't happen very often. It has saved me once in a while. So if I remember correctly, this particular bean has a rather noticeably loud first crack. I've roasted quite a few recently that had relatively soft first cracks. So there's my first few pops. Okay, I think we're there. So that registered as 372, so it's literally one degree different than last time. My target is to roast about two minutes beyond first crack and to get it up to about 33 more degrees, which is going to be 405. That's generally where I'm going to drop it. Oh, and if you want to smooth out your uh, curves here, oh, that's the 395 push a button on the hot top, so that was at 423 for ET. So I got up to about 378 there. So you can see, just barely you can see, that this roast is still lagging a little. Uh, you know, it's, it's very close. It's amazingly close from one roast to the next. Which is what you want. Consistency, or at least that's what I want out of a roaster. Okay, 386. So, literally about one whole degree down from where I normally would be. And you'll notice now my power has dropped to 50%. And that's, Check setting for very high voltage. Check setting for very high voltage. That's where I keep it for the rest of the roast. And I'm also adjusting very high. So just for fun, if you really want to see this kind of stuff, um, you can turn the BT on and off. And when you do that, you get a smoother curve display, which... I kind of like. So all of those past jumping around things, you see now they're all very smoothed out. So again, this looks pretty normal. This roast is once again lagging a bit compared to the last one. So we'll see. 
So my original target was to roast to two minutes or 4.05. Well, I've hit two minutes and I'm at 4.02. So I'll be dropping this momentarily. I guess I'll drop it now. And once I do that, I hit off, recording stops, everything else, and then I hit A to auto-save my profile, and then I can stop the recording. Well, actually, I won't stop the recording, because one of the other things I do is I go back and edit all of this stuff. So, I'll go ahead and put my axes back to normal and set the temperature display to go down to 100, so that way I'll actually see the events down here below the 100. There's my phases. I just guesstimate where first crack ended, something like that. We've got these various percentages shown up here. That's one of the features of the newer version of this uh, software, which, by the way, is freaking amazing. Artisan software, that's pretty much why I got the hot top was because of this ability. So this shows now the background roast. It was a little bit slower last time, or excuse me, slower this time. So I've got all of my important information here. And then I've got these funky looking events. And what I do is I actually go in and get rid of the events that I don't want to see. So I go into properties, events, and like this extraneous one up here where I bumped up the fan to 50. That's just a temporary thing. This last one where it bumps up the fan to 100 at the drop. I don't really need that either. So I'll make both of these 50. And then, oh yeah, and the last thing is the, the stopping point out here. I always try to get rid of all this dead air beyond the end of the row. So I'll change that to 13. So now I have a reasonable stretch of everything. And then once again, hit the A key to auto-save my profile. So that's it. This is one of the roasts that I've been struggling with, but uh, hopefully I'll get a better result this time than I did last time. And then here is my uh, profiles that I was saving. And now I can pause the video.